joined by uh, quarterback Jarrett Deggy. We'll open it up to questions. And start with Greg Hunter. So, Jarrett, walk me through the year in, in terms of your progress. I mean, where were you at the start of the year? Do you think you were a little bit behind because of the whole pandemic stuff? And then how have you progressed as the year has gone along? Yeah, I don't think I was behind. Um, I took the whole pandemic thing and, you know, kind of ran with it. Um, and I think I progressed as a quarterback. Um, but the first two uh, Big 12 uh, conference games, I think I was just trying to do too much, trying to, you know, put the whole team on my back. And now I'm just kind of making uh, confident decisions, decisive decisions, um, and just playing within the system, um, you know, and just making um, things easy and not trying to make it too hard. Cody Nesper. Hey, Jared. Um, so I'm sure you know you're on a pretty good streak of, of ball security. I was just wondering if you could, could tell us about what goes into that. Um, Neil has said a couple times that it's, it's mostly decision-making, but I was just wondering what your thought is. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Uh, when you're decisive with what you want to do um, and where you want to go with the ball, um, you can't really turn it over that, that many times. John Antonic. Hey, Jared, <clears throat> these guys, are they get off to a, an incredible starts in the games that they played this year, and they've obviously put up a lot of points. Is it tempting to try to get into a track meet with them, or do you try to do things to, to um, maybe uh, slow the game down a little bit and possess the ball? What's, what's your thoughts there? I think we're just going to do what we do on offense. You know, um, they're going to score points. It's Oklahoma. Um, you know, they always got really good offenses, um, but I, I feel like, um, if we play like the way we've been playing, we'll be right in the game and it'll be a fourth quarter game. Greg Hunter. So, Jerry, you saw Neil Brown's offense when your brother ran it. Um, and, and now that you're in it, is it different than it was at Texas Tech? The same? How are the changes and how have you adapted? Yeah, I don't know uh, – exactly what they ran at Texas Tech uh, systematically and stuff like that. But um, I think my brother maybe threw it a little more. I don't know if that goes into, you know, the run game and all that stuff. But I think for the most part, it's pretty much stayed uh, the same. And, you know, Coach Brown's probably um, grown his offense um, and done a couple different things since then, too. Back to John. Yeah, a, a follow up to that one. Um, as a quarterback and as an offensive player, do you um, have the defense in mind at all when you're thinking about how you attack um, Oklahoma? When I say defense, your defense, not Oklahoma's defense, when you're uh, attacking a team that, that scores the points that they do with Oklahoma? Yeah, I think with a defense like ours um, and how well they're playing, I might not have to force the ball and I can take a sack and, you know, it's okay to punt sometimes. Um, so having a defense like ours, you know, maybe for me, it, I don't have to force things as much. Mike Kazaza. Jared, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, you've talked a bunch about your brother and watching him and, and seeing him go through things in college. He had, um, he had a difficult time with interceptions for a while there, and I remember reading about it before West Virginia played him, and um, – he also had great success, too, and, and it's easy to remember one than the other, but I'm wondering what you remember about that struggle he went through and how he dealt with it and how he emerged in that because it sounds like you, you learned a thing or two about that. Yeah, just watching him and going through and seeing him battle through adversity um, was huge for me, and my dad always taught me and my brother, uh, you know, to play the next play, and that's the biggest thing you can do when you throw an interception or turn the football over is um, go ahead and play the next play, and, and every play is individual. Greg? You've been in the college game for a while now, but is it hard initially to be away for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas? You're, you're, you're often not home with family. You know, I've been doing it for a while now. Uh, being at Bowling Green, um, you know, I didn't get to go home uh, until Christmas and summer. I get about those two in spring break off, um, and that's okay with me because I'm living the dream of playing college football. Um, my parents uh, know that, um, and they love it too. Um, so I'm just glad to be playing college football and, you know, I'll get plenty of family time after I'm done. Go ahead, Cody. So, um, Neil, Neil, um, made sure to note that this is the first night game 
that you guys will play since he's been here. Uh, just what's different about playing a night game? Yeah, I don't think there's uh, too much different. I think um, you'll have a little bit more adrenaline going at the beginning of the game. Um, I think that once once a couple plays are played, uh, that kind of wears off and it turns into a normal football game. Um, but it's obviously exciting uh, to play at night um, in front of the, uh, in front of the lights. And um, I wish all the fans could be there. Um, but to me, it's going to be a normal game. And back to Greg. And finally, for me, Jared, you mentioned your your parents. Do they get a chance to come to Morgantown for games at all? Yes, my parents make every every single game. Uh, they haven't missed a single game that I've started in. Any other questions for Jarrett today? Okay, Jarrett, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. Thank you.